Hello, I'm Cindy Purcell. I'm the president of Huck and Jot Corporation, and I'm here to show you our newest model, the Sportsman 38. The DNA of this boat is a 1936 Huckins, which was a beautiful boat. Many things that we use are standard Huckins. The fleet uh, is, you will see on every Huckins. The Ferriform Flyer step plates, because every Huckins, the trade name for a Huckins yacht is Ferriform Flyer, which means she's fair of form and a flyer. The stanchions were used in the 1936 Huckins, and we use those again today. Some of the other features are the cable master, which comes out of the transom and electrically pulls back in. Our transom gate is a polished stainless gate made by Huckins. Uh, also, here is area for a storable Yeti cooler. This is a, a step that slides out for entrance and slides back out of the way so that you have full access to the electric grill. This model is offered in an outboard version and a hybrid version. This is the hybrid version, meaning that it has electric motors, twin electric motors, and twin diesel engines. Below in the lazarette hatch, 18 lithium iron phosphate batteries, which run the electric motor. You can run on electric for approximately two and a half hours at uh, eight miles an hour. Or you can turn on the generator run all day on electric. With just the flip of the switch, you can go to diesel and you'll be running at 38 miles an hour. So you have the flexibility and the choice to operate this boat to different ways. Also below in the last red hatch is an inverter and that is tied to the lithium iron phosphate batteries. With the inverter, you're able to operate air conditioning and refrigeration as well as 120 counts. Uh, ample seating in the cockpit, a sure shade that slides electrically out over the cockpit. On the spacious bridge deck, we have a wine cooler for white wines and we have wine storage for red wines. Um, right here is a pop-up TV. You can be seated very nicely on the L-shaped lounge and watch TV. The L-shaped lounge also slides out to make a double berth. Above here on the bridge deck and the helm station with the Stratoglass enclosures, we have two 16,000 BT unit air conditioners, which will keep this cool all day long. And below, uh, we also have another 16,000 BTU unit, which keeps below totally cool. Below the bridge deck hatch uh, are the diesel engines, which are B-series Cummins, uh, 350 horsepower apiece. And the boat runs at 38 miles an hour with these engines. So you have a wide range, either 8 miles an hour of electric power or 38 miles an hour diesel power. The electric panel is easy access for all the electrical items on, on the boat. The two very large skylights offer a lot of light and fresh air coming in and these go all the way back electrically. Snaker on the bridge deck and seating for the companion seat which is an extra wide companion seat and a double wide helm seat. This hatch below is our fuel, water, and waste tanks. Uh, all of these tanks are over the center of flotation, which means that this boat will ride at the same angle 
whether it's empty of fuel or full of fuel, the same with water and waste. It's an easy sight line with plenty of large windows to be able to see out. Uh, the helm is very nicely arranged with uh, two 16-unit Garmin GPSs and all of the other Garmin electronics. If you're operating uh, in diesel power and you'd like to go to electric power, it's uh, just a matter of a flip of a switch. You turn on the two keys for the Alco electric motors and flip the switch to the right, which is electric power, and then you operate just as you would standard with your controls. As you can see, below is all open to the bridge deck, which allows for a lot of light and open space below. But it can be easily closed off with a bifold door. And with the timbre, it closes off. So this is for privacy, but most of the time it'll be open to allow everybody below to feel like they're part of the party. We have a full galley uh, with the, the cover for the sink, a single bur burner stove, microwave convection oven, and a isotherm refrigerator. The, the plate area uh, we took out of Again, the 1936 Huggins, which is open shelving, but um, contained to make it easy to remove dishes. Here below we have seating for plenty, and um, also it's a V-verse. These V-verse convert to a queen-size spur. Electrically, the table goes down, and electrically, two sides come in to make a queen size berth. With the queen size berth you have walk around and uh, easy to make up. Hanging storage here to, to the port side and to the starboard side we have open shelving. Plenty of light below with the large hatch over the v-berth and then uh, three windows below to let more light in. The head has a very large shower, which is unusual for a boat of this size, and as well as sink, toilet, and open shelving for towels and miscellaneous. The door to the head is a bifold door, so that it folds completely away and opens up. There's a fusion sound system throughout the boat, speakers below and speakers above on the bridge deck and speakers in the cockpit. Our, our stanchions make it very easy to walk on the deck, move up from the stanchions that have nice angles to the grab rail along the edge. It's very easy to go forward all the way. And then, of course, you have your bow rail for extra safety. It's below and with an electrical up and down uh, for the anchor. And the anchor, the hull is protected by a beautiful piece of stainless work on the bow. The panels are bolt on, bolt off panels, so they are easily removable for being refinished. Horseman 38 is very low profile with 13 and a half feet with the mast up, so it is easily transported by truck.